Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first video, then just welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a look using my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I recently posted a video using the palette, it was my first time using it, and it was a blue cut crease. And I noticed that that video was quite popular, so I thought I would go and make another video, this time using some of the warmer colours in the palette. So yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't really have too much to say about this one, so let's just jump right into the tutorial. I've got my face makeup and my eyebrows done already. I'm going to be priming my eyes using my P. Louise base, and this is in the shade Rumor Zero. And I'm just going to be applying this with a flat concealer brush in a dabbing motion. Okay, we've got the base down and now I'm going to be taking a small pencil brush and I'm going in with this shade here which is called Licorice and I'm going to be packing this into the crease. Alright, so we've got the red down. Now I'm going to be taking a domed crease brush and I'm going to be going in with this shade here which is called Suck. <laughs> Very interesting names in this palette, I do love it though. And I'm going to be applying this just around the outside of where I've put the red to help blend it out a bit. Now I'm going to be taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be going in with this shade here, which is called Wow. And I'm going to be applying this to the edge of the orange and helping to blend this all out nice and smoothly. So we've got all the colors in the crease and now I'm just going to be going between all three of those shades, so the red, orange and the yellow, and just going back and forth between all of them and just trying to get it to be as seamless of a blend as possible. Okay, so those colors are more or less blended out. I can always go back in and blend them out a little bit more later on, uh, but for now I'm going to be doing a cut crease. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking some micellar water and I'm gonna be popping it on a, just one of these small, like, that's like a lip brush or something, and I'm gonna use that to remove some of the eye makeup just on the eyelid where I'm going to be carving out the crease so that it doesn't look all clumpy and so that I get a more um, vibrant color because I want the base to be as white as possible. So once I've um, kind of removed it a bit, I'll dry it off with a cotton tip. Okay, so we've got that all ready to carve out. So now I'm going to be cutting the crease and I'm using the same product as before which is my P. Louise base and also my flat concealer brush. Alright so the crease is carved out. Now I'm going to be working my way from the outside to the inside. So I'm going to start off with the red shade Licorice and then I'm going to use the orange shade Suck to blend into this one here called Orange Juice and then I'm going Lemon Drop right in the center or you know the inner corner. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that is the top of the eye complete. Now we're going to be smoking out the lower lash line using those same three colors that we used in the crease. Okay, I'm getting excited now because I'm really happy with the way that it's looking. So the next step that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying a thin line of eyeliner just to help conceal my eyelashes once I put them on. And now I'm going to be adding some liner to the waterline. So it's actually not liner. I'm going to be using this matte lipstick. Uh, so that is the Retro Matte Lip Wear and that's in the shade Feels So Grand. And I'm just going to be applying it with a little eyeliner brush and hopefully it doesn't go all over my eyeballs. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, now to add a highlight shade. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is called Jawbreaker. And I'm just applying this to my tear duct and my brow bone. And then I will be applying a different highlighter on the rest of my face. Maybe. I might change my mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm so indecisive. I've now decided to, I've decided to use the Jawbreaker shade as an all over highlighter. So I'll be adding that to my other highlighted places that I normally would highlight. Wow, that's a really amazing highlighter shade. I'm so glad I decided to put this on. Great. Marvellous. I'm very excited now. <laughs> okay. Now for lipstick, I'm going to be using my new favourite, which is my Lime Crime Lip Blaze, and this is in this shade. It's called Cash. Okay, and last but not least, we've got lashes. So I'm just going to be applying a coat of mascara and then popping on these lashes by EXO Beauty. These ones are the style Panther. And if you're wondering why my lashes are never stuck to the thingy, uh, that's because I use the EXO Beauty Shop latex free glue. So it doesn't actually, it's not, you know, all sticky and gluggy. So I'm going to put those on off camera and then I will be back to show you guys a completed look. Okay, so here we have the completed look with lashes. I really like this look. I mean, I say that every time, but I mean, I guess it's good that I do, but I do really like this look. I really love how it brings out my blue eyes, so this would really be a good one for you if you have blue eyes, because blue and orange are on the opposite sides of the color wheel, so it's anything that's on the opposite side is gonna be a very nice contrast and bring it, make the other color pop a bit more. I love the way the palette comes with a a shimmery yellow, a shimmery orange, a shimmery red. It makes the uh, blending of the colors a lot easier because you can use the shimmers to help blend in. So for example, where I've used the orange shimmer to blend into the orange matte color, uh, that really helps, especially when I'm using a shimmery shade on the inner corner of the eye. And I really, really love this highlighter um, from the palette, the Drawbreaker shade. I think I'll definitely be using that a lot as a highlighter and I'll probably run out of that shade first from the palette. I mean, I don't actually think I've ever run out of any eyeshadow ever, so we'll keep an eye on that one. I think I may run out of this one. 
that. I've only used the Jawbreaker palette a few times, but I already really like it and I'm actually going to be sitting down maybe tomorrow or the day after and filming another look using this palette. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a more simple look. So still as bold and colourful as these looks that I've been doing are, just a little bit more simple so if you don't have as much time or if it's you're kind of just starting out and you're not too confident with doing a cut crease uh, then keep an eye out for that one and I will pop the link down below once it is posted. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did then please thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video from me and I will see you guys in the next video.